Well, we just left our favorite beach spot in La Paz. It was bittersweet for sure. Um, our friends are staying behind there. Um, and we're moving on to the next beach. Uh, it's a really nice beach. It's a popular spot uh, for overlanders and RVers. It's big, it's wide, it's got beautiful mountain views. Uh, a lot of people go there to hang out for, at the beach for the day. It's called Tecalote. It is free to camp there. So we are gonna go spend a night there before uh, meeting back up with our friends in a couple of days uh, for dinner. And to get to Tecolote, you are gonna drive past uh, Belandra Beach. It is considered to be the, or one of the prettiest beaches in Mexico. Um, right now, after COVID, it is very restricted to be able to go there. Um, I think for COVID reasons, plus some um, other reasons, like it was getting, uh, I don't wanna say trashed, but I think that was one of the main reasons why they are now limiting the amount of people to go there. So we are not gonna be visiting Belandra on this trip. Um, it's just no, you only get a couple hours to be there and you have to set up a time. You have to be there at a certain time. They only allow so many people in and we just didn't wanna do that. So we just did the hike to see the view. We've spent a lot of time there on our last trip and you can go back and watch those videos right here if you want to. It is a beautiful beach though. And um, if you are down in this area, it's definitely a must do or must see. So stop there and then go camp at Tecolote for the night. As Lindsay just pointed out, Tecolote is a wide open beach. Um, so when you get down, you just drive along the edge. There's a couple restaurants and bars and um, all kinds of parking. Today's a beautiful day. It's a Sunday, so Sunday fun day. Lots of locals out here enjoying the time. We got here and we we're getting set up. We're not spreading out entirely because we're not going to be here for too long. Um, but the wind is down right now. It's just a light breeze, which is great because it keeps the bugs off of us. And, uh, and the water is, is beautiful. When I step outside in just a minute, it's I'm going to show you the island, which is Espiritu Santo, La Isla Espiritu Santo. And uh, it's awesome. Lindsay was able to go out there when she was here before and she swam with sea lions and did some snorkeling with her friend. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're hanging out Sunday fun day, enjoying one night here at this beautiful beach. <laughs> Sunday fun day. We thought we were at the locals beach before. Turns out Tecolote is the locals beach. Check out what our nice quiet morning turned into. I feel like I'm um, in college on spring break again down in Panama City or something like that. I didn't actually go to spring break in Panama City, but I imagine this is what it was like all packed in like this. Crazy, like I can't get between the front of our RV and the car in front of us. It's that close. Same thing in the back. So um, we picked a great day to move out here to Tecolote, but it's all right. It's uh, something we're just enjoying being a part of while we're here. And that's, uh, you know, we're just passing through. We're interfering, I would imagine, um, taking up probably about, the way they park here, 17 spots. 17, 18, something like that. So uh, yeah, it's going on and it is fun for everybody and it's, it's not too bad. It's hot as all get up, it's 92 degrees today. Um, but we're just hanging out, we're chilling, not literally. But we're gonna maybe go for some, um, where were we gonna go? I forgot, I can't think with all the music There's in my head. A couple of restaurants. There's like right up, right down the beach. There's a, what are the dogs doing? <laughs> right down the beach, there's a couple of restaurants and bars, so we thought we'd go down there and check it out, hang out for a little bit. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. I don't even know whose music is what. There's just a lot of music going on, and all of it has tuba. If you watched our tuba episode. Look at my new pretty blanket. That's gonna turn into the dog blanket. <laughs> My handmade on a loom, 100% cotton, made in Oaxaca blanket. I think it's pretty. Where's it going? What do you think? I said it's gonna go on the couch. It's gonna replace 
this one. So I think it's gonna look great. And about, then the dogs are gonna ruin it. What about the dogs licking themselves? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's it's machine washable. He told me it was, so we'll see. And uh, I love it. So Lindsay saw the blanket man, we'll call him blanket man, because he was walking down the beach with blankets earlier and he got like 10 feet away from us and she saw the green blanket, which is what she's been looking for since the entire time we've been in Baja. And then he turned around and he walked the other way. She's like, what do I do? I was like, go chase after him. She didn't go chase after him. So we went down, we had dinner, it was delicious. You might see now, right now, I'm eating a hamburger. It's not very delicious, but I'm kind of over the whole taco thing. Lindsay had delicious fried shrimp tacos. She asked for them grilled, they came out fried. Good for her for eating them. Um, but anyway, we did all that and then all of a sudden she looks over and she sees Blanket Man all over again. So she runs down and she starts talking to Blanket Man and ended up buying a blanket from, we'll call him Senior Blanket Man. He's very nice. We see him all the time He's on the weekends. Nice. He walks down the other beach we were camped at and my friend bought a blanket from him that I thought was very pretty, but it wasn't solid. It had a lot of white on it, and I knew if I had the white blanket, the dogs would just trash it. So, which is the whole reason why we had the blanket on our couch to begin with. Note, if we get dinged right now by YouTube for copyright infringement, <laughs> this is not our music, YouTube. We're not, we don't want this music at all. It's Usher. playing in the background. There's Usher in the background, apparently. <laughs> Lindsay knows Usher. I don't know Usher, but We've got like three groups of guys that are all competing to see who could be the most loud and obnoxious. And that's just how it goes on a Sunday fun day here in, uh, where are we? <laughs> We're in Baja. In Baja, I know that. We're at Tecolote. <laughs> this is Sunday fun day at Tecolote. It's like where we were on steroids. Yeah. So dear, dear YouTube, don't ding us. This is not us trying to use the music in the background. This is just uh, tubaless music. I think YouTube has a feature where you can like, you can like, it knows, it can hear the background music and you click a button and it like fades it out. So maybe we could try that with this video. <laughs> we'll see. We obviously don't have a clue about what we're doing and it's our job to know. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. We're going to watch the sunset and uh, maybe you get to see the sunrise tomorrow because it should be nice out here. It should be empty again, beautiful, calm, quiet. and. Uh, right. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll we see. We might have a loud night. We'll see how we sleep tonight. On that note, see ya. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a little too peppy for the way the night went last night. Uh, Sunday fun day was very loud um, all the way until like 10 o'clock at night. Even later, I think. Um, I don't know. I lost track. We are awake. It is beautiful outside, but it's really windy. That was really the reason why we didn't sleep last night because the wind was blowing, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 miles an hour, shaking the whole RV. Um, I mean, just gusting right through the windows that we had open. So it was really hard to sleep. I thought we were gonna get tipped over. That's why I wasn't sleeping. The whole time I'm having these dreams of like the RV flipping on its side. I know the RV is not gonna flip on its side here, but that was how much it was rocking. I mean, it was all night long and it wasn't like being in a sailboat or any other kind of boat where it's just a nice, gentle, steady, rocking with a pretty steady swell this was like gust 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 and then no gust and then two minutes later more gust and then it's off and on so anyway tecolote is known for that that is a good thing about tecolote and the bad thing about tecolote if the wind is blowing you have fewer flies if the wind is not blowing you're going to probably have lots of flies so and that obviously depends on the time of year as well so we're at the end of march wrapping up our winter season here in baja Spring is in full effect here. Summer, you could call it. It's been 90 degrees the last couple days. And uh, fortunately, the water is nice and um, people have been enjoying it. It's nice to be able to go out and float and paddle and just hang out and enjoy the fact that summer is on its way. We will be long gone because this part of Baja is incredibly hot during summer. Anyway, we're hanging out today and then we're gonna go do a really cool, what we hope is gonna be a really cool trip to a ranch a children's home ranch that's up in the mountains. Absolutely gorgeous, a true oasis. There's a spring that comes out of the ground and everything is lush and green there. Zach and I went and played disc golf and had a great time just doing a basic uh, checking out the place. 
and they do allow overland camping so we're gonna go camp spend the night there and then get a tour of the place tomorrow so today the rest of today is just kind of hanging out until we get over there later in the afternoon